So what we want to do is want to play exactly what Kobe Bryant had to say here, and then we want to come back and continue on the show. Take a listen to what Kobe had to say there. What do you think about some of the some of the superstars nowadays is not being in the because you know like you like oh we grew up yeah. watching Jordan and Mike Dominique, Dominique. And we, the, yeah. the greats was the ones yeah. that were putting on the show and I'm yeah. not saying that I don't want to see some of these other boys because nowadays some of these other boys got crazy hops too but I'm yeah. saying like I would like to see our super superstars if you one of those crazy athletes forget about all that your brand or I don't want to lose and yeah. then go put on a show like yeah. Aaron Gordon and Levine them did like how MJ and Don if you a superstar and you got bounced go do it yeah no I agree and I, I think the all-star game in general needs a little revamping because it used to be competitive yeah it used to be competitive and like you know, fans want to see the best pickup game in the world yeah. that's what this is they yeah. want to see you running up and down and dunking and doing all this crazy like they want to see the what happens when you get this collection of best basketball players on the planet and they play and they go head up against each other. Man. Yeah. I mean, you guys play harder at a pickup game in UCLA. For real. And ain't do. billions of people watching. For real. Definitely do. You know what I'm saying? Definitely do. They got uh, turn the All-Star game needs a little needs a little changing. Um, I always love competing in them. Um, I didn't lose many of them. Nah, me and CP one, used to nah, talk all the time. The like, ones. You took it serious. Yeah, yeah. We, we went in. Like, I don't think me and CP, when we played together in the All-Star game, I don't think we've ever lost a game. Yeah. And we okay. used to look at each other and say, okay. Oh, serious. They go. don't want to play, we gonna yeah, play. fourth quarter, let's go yeah. get them. Yeah. <laughs> so you heard what Kobe Bryant had to say. You know, if Kobe was here today, I think he would have one or two things to say about this current crop of NBA players. I put, a, I put, a, I put up a post yesterday on the community section of our channel that I want to read and I want to expand on my thoughts on that post. And I'm dead serious about this. Who's going to feel offended is going to feel offended. I wrote the following 19 hours ago and it has about 232 comments, excuse me, and 944 likes. I said, if American born players don't start taking the NBA serious and move the game forward like their predecessors, they will lose this game to foreign players in the next five years. And they will have no one to blame but themselves for effing off what those that came before them built over entitlement. The entitlement in this current NBA is running rampant. It is running rampant. Let me tell you where all of this is going and just how bad it's gotten. We know that the all-star game is a joke. We know this. Adam Silver's at the end of last night's game, at the end of the all-star game, was sat there with egg on his face. He looked like a total clown by the way the players played him. And you could hear it in his voice. After that game, the conversation has now become, well, what are we going to do to ensure that the all-star game gets better? And do you know where all of this is going? Where it is going now is you now need to put in financial incentives for players to go out there and participate in the all-star game and put up an effort. I want you guys to rationalize what's happening. NBA players today are earning more money than they have ever earned in the history of that sport. Jalen Brown just signed the most lucrative contract in NBA history with a $300 million deal. Guys are making boatloads of money. And now we're hearing that. I understand that that money you're paying me is for the regular season games. But if you want me to put forth an effort, you need to pay me more. Now, the question I have is this. Why do these players feel, back to entitlement, that they need to be paid more money to do what their predecessors did for free? Why do they feel like they need to be incentivized to put on a good show for their fans? Why is that? To me, it speaks to an attitude that exists today in these young men. It is a shame. We are breeding some of the weakest men in the history of the world today. Some of the weakest. 
And I blame the older dudes that are advocating for this. I really, really do. I really do.